all this kind of shit. But this is God's work. <laughs> you crazy sons of bitches. Sir, we don't know- Don't open your mouth. But we really don't know what you're talking about. Enough. You. You go back to your commune. Whatever the hell it is you people live in. You tell your leader, your prophet, your what the fuck. And he has to return my son before you get these two back. No negotiations. Go! Keep working them over till we get more info. Don't let up. Or anything. No, and we haven't found our son either. Well, I don't know what I would do without my little tiddly poo. Or Simon, our son. Oh, is that they? Let me talk to him. I have to talk to my tiddly poo, see if he's okay. What do you want? What does any kidnapper want, Mr. Lancaster? We want money. I don't negotiate on the phone. Don't play me. At any moment, I could snap his neck like a twig. How much? One briefcase full should do it. Now, wait. Make it two. He's been kind of rowdy. He's already tore up my couch. That damn kid. Okay, fine. Where do you want to make the drop off? Uh huh. Yeah, okay, that's right. Come alone. No funny business. I'll have my men on him at all times. And if anything goes wrong, well, <laughs> you know. All right, well, pleasure doing business with you. Okay, we need two people to do the job. Toby, you go along, handle the money. Uh, I can go. You, you know, to help stuff. Yeah. You know, it's not that hard a job. I mean, maybe you could... Fuck that. Last time you two went off, you left us high and dry. Now, that's not fair. Will you two give it a rest? Just because you have a little crush going on, doesn't mean I'm going to let you into the group. Now, we're going to settle this cat thing and get it done with. Toby! Everything all right, sir? Give me two briefcases. Sir? They took Simon. Sons of bitches took my boy. What is the world coming to? Kidnapping little boys for money? Get the car ready. Sir, it's for you. So, you put me on Simon detail, huh? Well, I guess I got plenty of detail on him now. <laughs> listen to me, you crazy fuck. No, no, you listen to me. I'm done playing second fiddle to that bossy overlord of yours. Yes, you, Reed. And I'm done taking orders from you, Lancaster. Always have great ideas and great stories, but nobody ever listens to me. Butcher. Just give me back my son, you sniveling little shit. No, no, you don't curse at me. You're gonna pay me some respect. I don't want your money, I just want you to show me some respect. I'll let you figure out how. You're a smart man. Fletcher, what do you want? Goodbye, Lancaster. What do they want? Cancel the car. Get Vincent Cameron. Yes, sir. This is turning out better than expected. Warmer tomorrow. What the hell are you talking about? Don't talk to me about the damn weather. 
Put your head back on, Toby. Just because a guy finds me endearing doesn't mean we have to kill him. If it means interfering with the group, then we do. We gotta keep focus, okay? Harry! Ah! Now we just gotta get Toby to play and we'll be set. Yeah. You have no idea how frustrating it is. And we only have two players. Perry needs to lighten up. Hardcore. Hardcore? Who says that? Hello? Yeah? Hold on. Who wants to know who's in charge? Hello. He's being held captive by my fuckhead ex-assistant Fletcher. You get Simon back, I'll give you your friends back. What? Okay, fine. He wants to talk to you. Isaac? They got us tied up in a basement with some Mormons. You've got to come get us out of here. Don't give them what they want! That's enough. Mormons? You got that? Okay. Good. Next time I hear from you, you better have what I want. You won't get away with this, Lancaster. Can't you come up with a better line than that? I'm not trying to get away with anything. I just want my son back. What's up? Well... You two stay here. What? What are you talking about? Well... As you know, Lancaster put out a hit on Travis to protect Simon. So, we kidnapped the cat and held it for ransom. But what we didn't know was that Lancaster's ex-assistant Fletcher had kidnapped Simon and held him for ransom. So, Lancaster kidnapped Toby and Perry and is now blackmailing us to get his son back. All right, have fun. Don't forget to write. Another long quiet night, another long quiet lonely night. Have you ever just sat down and at your side? And really thought to yourself, I'm not happy you are. Oh, bro, only all the time. Because you know, back to the conversation we was having earlier about educating myself and everything, I really just looked at it. Take a break, guys. I'll take over from here. Well, well, well. Perry, didn't think you'd be down here so soon, huh? Set us up. Fuck you, Reed. No. Actually, this time, I can't take credit. I'd like to, though. It's pretty brilliant. What do you want, Reed? I just wanted to gloat, Perry. This whole time, I was just hoping you guys would fuck up. Boy. Did you guys take care of that for me? This isn't like the stone job. You're gonna fall harder and faster this time, so fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Toodles, Perry. <laughs> Put a leg up. Thank you. Seems like you two have a pretty nasty bath. Yeah, it's there sort of a... a job a couple years ago. We took a bad hit. We took a worse hit. Apparently they still haven't gone past it. Hmm. Mm -mm. You know, some people just don't know themselves well enough just to let the past be the past. Such a shame. <laughs> been a while. We should call Isaac. We can't call. Never call while someone's on a job. Well, I don't like, you know, <clears throat> he's been gone a long time. We, we don't even know what he's doing. And how hard can it be? <sighs> Fuck, I'm calling. It's a green green. Hello? 
Tra Travis, hey, these guys live in the same apartment complex you did. Yeah, funny we didn't notice that before. That's ironic. Yeah, you think they could have planned it better? Hello, you have just reached a phone kidnapped by Fletcher. Here's the thing. So where's the car? <clears throat> Over there. You gonna drive? I don't know how to drive this thing. You got the keys? Come on! Whoa. You know, I never would have thought of him as the public transportation type. He hates gas stations. It's always been one of his things. He hates the smell. That's weird. We went to the beach because it was romantic. She played skee ball. She was one of those people who would, who would jump up on the ramp and then try to score as many points as possible. I couldn't do that. Always seemed too dishonest for me. What I did was I'd wait for one of the machines to break down and then wait for one of the maintenance guys to come over. And when he's not looking, you grab a big roll of tickets. <laughs> I just didn't like that. But we had ice cream. And that's, that's big on a first date. So we're walking along the boardwalk, holding hands, still sticky from the ice cream. And she says, Let's go watch the sunset. So we sat down on the edge of the pier. It's beautiful. It's, it's that perfect moment in the movie where the guy leans in and finally gets the kiss. She leans in and I go to pull her close, but I guess I misjudged how much room she had toward the edge of the pier. And she was gone. Lost at sea. All because I just pulled a little too hard. Which got picked up by a Chinese boat and is now a fisherman. That could be a lie. I don't know. But nothing will ever help me get over my lids. Now, my Amanda, that's another story. That's Simon. Aren't we supposed to, like, uh, grab him or something? Let's worry about Isaac first. So, uh, what apartment number you say it was? 813. Yeah. What? Travis? I have, to, I have to speak to you, please. Just for once, put your wonderful stories on hold. Travis, what are you... Oh, please, just, just, just one... Just one moment, I have to tell you this. I need, I need to tell you this. I've been hiding from you. I, I've been hiding from the world. What? It's okay. It's okay. Please. I think we, we should run off together and, 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 and just go to the beach somewhere and just tell stories every night until the sun rises. You know, just just like me and, and my Billy used to do you know, for the unfortunate fishing accident. You know, about those sort of things. Oh, Fletcher. Oh, Fletcher. Ah! What the? What the hell was that? I don't know, it's this guy, you know, he just stands outside his apartment all the time and tells his stories. What a weirdo. If I had to listen to that guy's sad stories one more time, Frick needs to get laid fast! Alright, now 
what? Well, we, we gotta bust out Toby and Perry. Whose turn is it? Well, it's not mine. I, I did this thing, so. Um... <sighs> Warren, I think it's your turn. Oh, I, I, uh, <sighs> never mind. I got an idea. Okay, son. I gotta, I gotta do something with the that Fletcher guy kept talking about all those things he did. <laughs> None of them actually mattered. So that's why it's so I gotta... I, I should... I gotta... I gotta just talk to her. Okay. Good. Uh, this is more complicated than we thought. If we're gonna get the elders back, we're gonna need the help of some divine intervention. What in the name of Joe Smith? This is your divine intervention. Seriously, Isaac, you, you gotta stop. I know life sometimes can get tough, and I know life sometimes can be a drag, but he.